You can assess if you're simulating altitude training by simply using a finger held pulse oximeter. And basically there's an infrared light and red light and you put your pointing finger into the device and you put your nail against the red light. This is picking up the fraction of your hemoglobin that's occupied by oxygen. Normal blood oxygen saturation is between 95 to 99%. Doing breath holds during the oxygen advantage exercises, the blood oxygen saturation typically will drop into the mid 80s. This is simulating an altitude of about four to 5,000 meters. Technically, this is called intermittent hypoxic hypercapnic training. Not only is the blood oxygen saturation dropping during the breath hold, but carbon dioxide is also increasing in the blood. So as an added tool to help improve your sports performance, bringing breath holding after an exhalation into your everyday training disturbs the blood acid base balance. And this in turn then is forcing the body to make adaptations and these adaptations are beneficial during sports performance. These adaptations include improved aerobic capacity and improved anaerobic capacity. They also include improving respiratory muscle strength, helping to open up the airways, spleen contraction, and also increasing willpower and determination. Breath holds are challenging. You're exposing the body to a stress both physiologically and mentally, and this can cause positive adaptations in terms of our ability to handle stress.